All right, I'm gonna give you some information on changing the fuel injectors on a 2.4 liter Honda uh, VTEC motor. All right, on this one, I've actually already got this done. I'm just gonna let you know how I did it here. First off, you have your cover, which is right here. That actually covers, you have two bolts here. Take these two bolts off, that cover will just pop right off. Um, that gets you to this point where you'll see this rail will actually be setting straight across. Um, at that point, uh, on a lot of cars, you actually have to take and disconnect the fuel line first. But on this particular vehicle, the fuel line actually has a quick connect that rotates and it's on a hose. So you actually don't need to disconnect it on this particular vehicle. Um, so that's great news. Um, you have two bolts, um, which you can see right here is the stud from one which is actually right here. Um, it really doesn't matter if the, the nut comes off or if the stud comes off. It, it really makes no difference. Um, so don't really fret if you, if you pull the stud out instead of the nut. I had one where the nut came out and one where the stud came out, which you can see that right there. Um, that's the other one. Those two, and then you just kind of rock it back and forth. You'll go to, uh, to try to pull it up, rocking it, rocking it. Be very gentle with it. You don't want to break the fuel injector because that would cause you a lot more problems. Um, but you'll pull those out and once you get those out it'll be pretty much set in this point once it's set in this point you have a clip it's right here you stick a screwdriver behind there and you pull it out it's like a little e-clip that little e-clip is great um, once you get that out or actually um, before you get that out you obviously want to disconnect all of your uh, wires of course here um, those are just you know on the side you pinch them and pull them straight up they come out really easy um, then you get the clip out you can see you got a little tab that's right there that tab is inside there that that keeps it from moving too from moving too much side to side it'll also let you know when you're all the way back in once you've got this in here um, so what you do is um, you'll take each clip off and then take each one individually you'll hold the top of the rail right here you'll hold the rail and pull each fuel injector out um, now I'd let the car set overnight so it's cool I don't have to worry about the the gas catching on fire that's something I definitely suggest um, but when I pulled number four which is the one on the driver's side out I had a lot of fuel that gushed out with that one um, and that one actually came out as I was pulling the rail out pulled the clip off and everything not a big deal clip was fine um, but the fuel gushed out of right here so um, chances are whichever one you pull out first you're gonna have some fuel behind it so just prepare for that um, know that it's gonna, you know, gonna have your issue. Um, just let it go onto the engine. You can see I still got some down there that's just sitting there. It's not hurting anything. Um, <clears throat> and it won't hurt anything. Once I fire it up and it gets warm, it'll evaporate pretty quick. Um, but there's not gonna be enough that's gonna remain there to cause a problem. Um, the next, next thing you wanna do is obviously before you put them back in there, you Vaseline up the seals and then you line them up. If you don't have it quite right, you'll know. Um, once it's in there right, it just kind of snugs right in and you feel the clip or the, um, the tab come into place and then just wiggle it side to side and make sure that it's touching so that you know that it's in all the way. Um, you can always double check them and make sure that each one's in. Uh, I put a little pressure on the end of the, the fuel injector to make sure that it was there. Um, but not a big deal to get them in. Um, the next step, obviously I've got, there's three seals. Um, I can show you one of the old ones here. This is one of the old fuel injectors that I pulled out. <clears throat> you can see it's uh, it's a pretty bad, I'm trying to get focus here a little bit for you. Uh, it's pretty bad, but you've got three seals. You got one that's on the very end, one that's uh, at the seat right here, and then one, this is where it goes into the top. So as you're putting it in, this will go into the rail. This is for your tab, and then your plug-ins here. So obviously you can see these been around. These have 280,000 miles on these particular fuel injectors. So uh, they've been around for a while. It's time to change them. Um, reason I'm changing them is I was getting a um, check engine code uh, for a misfire on cylinder four and a misfire on cylinder two. And the check engine light had started flashing, letting me know that it was a pretty uh, major problem. So um, that's why I'm here and uh, changing these fuel injectors. I checked the plugs, plugs are new. Uh, checked the uh, um, the coils on each one and actually replaced the coils, just thinking that that was probably it. It was not. This is pretty much the last uh, 
last option for it. Um, so anyway, so now to the next part, you can see uh, where the hole is here. We're gonna line this up into the hole. Yeah, obviously making sure that the studs lined up. And then once we get it into the hole, we're gonna push it in evenly. Um, you wanna make sure that uh, everything goes in exactly where it's supposed to go in and that you don't force it so you don't break anything. Um, they are plastic on the end, so they definitely would be breakable. Um, but just make sure that uh, you got nothing that's going into the intake. It, that'd be kind of a bad thing. Um, I cleaned the whole engine with some brake cleaner before uh, before I started here. Um, but yeah, that's the next steps. Do that. Plug it back up, and then you know put the the covers back on and the you know put the fuel rail back back down. Um, after I do that, I'll be 100% ready to uh, fire it up, and it's. Uh, pretty much as easy as it sounds so don't be afraid of this particular job um it's uh it it sounds uh, a lot more daunting than it is uh thanks for listening and uh we'll talk to you soon